Now, I absolutely love tea bag folding, don't you? Yeah, well, I do a bit more than you do. That's why my thumbs are numb. Tell you what, it's good to have a boning tool when you're doing your tea bag folding. But these designs, we call tea bag folding because they're based on the original kind of tea bag format. But we go up to A3 right down to Little Minis. And that opens a whole world of different creative things that you can do. But also more than that, you're going to get uh, A3, you're getting A4, you're getting toppers in various sizes, and you're also getting background papers. Now, the background papers are divided in half. You're getting three different sizes, which are geometric, and you're getting three that are more like a kaleidoscope design. So how many do they get in this? In this particular collection, there are 44 pages per set. So if you went for the bumper set, that'd be 440 pages. And if you went for that with the other scenes, that'd be 760 pages. So do look out for those as well. So if you like your primroses, this is the perfect set for you. Let me just run through some of the designs that are in these sets. Now, these are the square geometric tea bag fold designs whatever you want to use them for or call them and in each of the sets you get toppers background papers to the main design so i'm just going to show you one of the main designs and what you get now everything i'm going to show you you also get the mirror image as well difficult for you to see on these more intricate ones but they are totally different but when you put them back to back they kind of especially you've got light going through them they work well. Now you can tell by this one here, you've got the um, design there that's opposite, it's twisted, it's mirrored, that's what I'm trying to say. And then you get all the toppers as well, so you get that again mirrored but in uh, the medium large size. And then you get the medium. Now these are all so useful for tea bag folding techniques but you can use them for so many other things. These actually look spectacular if you stick them onto a square glass and uh, you put a candle inside, really lights them up, looks great. Do that on a thinner 75 gram paper. Now you've also got background papers in these sets as well. You've got this one which I call the A4 kaleidoscope effect. And then you also get that in the um, square as well. Then you also get six background papers in the, each of these sets. Now this is more of a geometric square effect and you get that in three different sizes as you can see. And then you also get the uh, kaleidoscope effect which is this one here as you can see. It's not so square, it's all kaleidoscoped twittering out. There you go, you get that one. And you get that one as well. So you get three of each. Now, those that I've just shown you, these are some more of the different designs. And you get the toppers and backgrounds to match each of the designs. So that's another example of the main design in this uh, tulip set. You've got this one. And this one. I love these because you could cut them out. You could mat and layer them. You can make your own mandalas with them. You've got that one, that's quite stunning, isn't it? You've got blue tulips there. And then you've got this one. And then you've got the corns. Is it called the corn in the middle of a tulip? I've absolutely no idea. But it seems to come out of my mouth uh, what I think it is. Corns, the centre of the tulip. I do ramble, don't I? Anyway, I love that design. Again, all the colours really work well together for each of the sets. And there's another design. That would be lovely back to back if using mirror, cut all these out, stick it together and you could hang that in the window. It'd make a lovely kind of mandala in your window. Same with that one. Uh, another example here of another design, much more intricate. And that's the final design that I'm going to show you from this collection.